Hello again, and welcome to the Uranium Market Minute. My name is Justin Hewn. I am your host and the founder and publisher of the Uranium Insider Pro newsletter, the only investing newsletter that focuses solely on the uranium space and publishes regularly on a monthly basis. Um, let's jump right into the daily scoreboard. This is a really exciting time for uranium, so let's get right into the data. We're going to talk about um, the spot price, the fund flow into SPUT, the Sprott Physical Uranium Trust, as well as the ETFs. So first of all, the spot price is up again today, another $1.50, and the ask now $44.25. This is, again, a six-plus year high for the spot price of uranium. We are in a full-fledged bull market, folks. Um, this is starting to look like the previous bull market where we had consistent daily and weekly upticks in the spot price of uranium, and uh, most of this is being pushed by Sprott, the physical uranium trust, affectionately known as SPUT. Um, who does not seem like they're going to take their foot off the gas. And on that note, I'm going to share my screen here um, and go ahead and bring up some notes on SPUT. All right. So if you're not familiar, Sprott took over the Uranium Participation Corporation Fund. They did that deal went through a few months back. Their ATM went live. The at-the-market financing vehicle went live little less than a month ago, and they've been absolutely slamming the spot market, um, coming in hard for a fast settlement, less than 30 day settlement, which is probably why we've seen such an incredible uptick in the spot price. So one of the, one of the metrics that we follow on a daily basis is how many new units has spot issued into the market through their ATM. Now, Friday's trading, they did not issue any new units, and we've yet to see if they did today. I have a feeling they did not. Why? they are in the process of um, increasing their ATM allowance because they're almost all the way through their initial 300 million. Yes, less than a month, 300 million new dollars have come into this vehicle alone. Most of that at this point has gone directly to funding physical purchases of uranium, hence the spot price move. Um, so we believe that that, uh, that pause in new units issued because they had big volume still trading on Friday, so for them to not issue any units is probably because we're that might have been day one of a what we are told from Sprott themselves is that there should be about a three business day lag between uh, running through or almost running through the previous ATM and getting the new allowance approved. However, on Friday, they did purchase 440,100 pounds of uranium, bringing their total to 6.6 .6 million pounds since the ATM went live on the 17th of August. Like I said, the initial $300, $300 million ATM likely to be exhausted this week. Absolutely incredible. So how much did they increase the next round of ATM? Oh, just a billion dollars. That's all. They're increasing to a total of 1.3 billion. So a billion added to that initial 300 million. Um, this is not yet approved. It's not yet finalized. We believe that it will be. And we believe that we will hear about that in the next one to two days. So stay tuned. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen again. And let's take a look at some charts, OK? Let's see here. Give me one second. All right, here we go. URNM, um, uh, the only, not the only, the only US listed pure play uranium ETF. Absolutely massive volume on Friday, huge volume again today, big gap up in the morning. There are some serious funds flowing into this thing, folks. Um, let's take a look at URA as well. Um, absolutely huge day. Again, today, Monday, September 13th, record trading volume for the largest uranium ETF. Now, this is not a pure play. I believe it's 70% allocated to uranium but still it's the most liquid. So the, the big funds will really come into this one. And we've, dis we've discussed this before that there is uh, a flywheel effect with, with the ETFs, right? So funds flow into the ETFs like they did on Friday. So Friday was a record before today for URA. And what happened to their underlying holdings? Let's take a look today. Next Gen Energy. Pretty big day, although today was a bit down. It didn't gap up like the other ones. Let's take a look at Denison. Oops. Denison, uh, how about ISO Energy? Big gap up there. Um, a number of their holdings had really big days, including some of the ASX stocks yesterday. Let's take a look at Paladin. Just a huge gap up. 
absolutely beautiful charts here. So um, the uranium ETFs, typically they will share their um, new share issuance the following day. So that volume on Friday, we expected to see them report some share issuance and that has still been delayed for whatever reason. So we expect in the next couple of days, we'll see how many shares, new shares that they've issued into the market to put that money into these holdings, which is why we're seeing just such a overall supportive market. And anytime we see that type of volume coming into the ETFs and they continue to issue shares, we know that that's this underlying support to these stocks. So even if retail is like, oh gosh, these things are super overbought, it's time to take some profits, that ETF flywheel can keep things aloft a lot longer than, than seems rational. Um, so yeah, I think that um, obviously the trading action is, is, is a bit overextended here on a daily technical basis. However, Sprott is not letting off of the gas. So I expect that pullbacks during this time are going to be bought pretty quickly. Will we see a larger correction at some point? Absolutely, that will come. How soon? Nobody knows. That's an unanswerable question. However, this is a new bull market and we're, the sector is getting increasing attention. Um, I'm not actually gonna take any uh, mailbag questions today because we just finished up a two hour plus webinar for our Uranium Insider Pro member uh, members. This was for our paid subscribers only, and we went deep into what's exactly going on in this market, as well as discussing individual um, equities that we recommend. But I will just make a couple of quick notes here. Um, it's looking like the, a bill to support the six Exelon nuclear plants in Illinois is likely to pass. We should hear more on that today. If not today, then tomorrow. It's right on the edge, but it's looking positive. We believe it's going to go through. These are, these are crucial sources of energy for the state of Illinois. Additionally, one of the two uh, or one of the leading candidates in the upcoming election in Japan is very pro-nuclear. In fact, he's in support of restarting essentially their entire fleet that's able to be restarted at this point. That's a huge, huge plus, um, obviously, for the market. Obviously, it would be a big positive for Japan and their climate goals. Um, additionally, we're seeing... Uh, that Angela Merkel is not going to be running for, for re-election. And one of uh, a potential candidates for upcoming chancellor that's from her own party is basically saying that Germany got it wrong by shutting down their nuclear. Will that sentiment follow through and actually save the plants that are still scheduled to shut down this later this year and next year? Nobody knows, but it is interesting to at least hear them come out and say, whoops, uh, we didn't do that very well. Um, all right, folks, I'm going to wrap it up there for today and keep this short. So uranium is really rocking it right now. I'm, I'm really pleased to see what I'm seeing in the markets. And um, Sprott's $1 billion addition to their ATM is an absolutely massive uh, development. And if they continue, if the funds keep flowing into that vehicle and they have that ATM rolling, this, is, this train's not stopping anytime soon. So uh, take advantage of those dips. Quick disclaimer, this is not investment advice. Nothing I've said in this video should be taken out of investment advice. I am not your financial advisor. Please always do your own due diligence. These markets are volatile and should be treated as such. Thank you for watching. See you next time.